All right, folks, so this is what we're painting today. I 3D printed this a minute ago and then gave it a uh, prime in black. <clears throat> it's a real simple paint job. Got some gun metal, some dry rust, some washes, and some dry brushing paints as well. Um, also got a piece of sponge, which I'm going to use, and a dry brush. Use my little paint palette. So let's get started. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Gah! That's more gun metal than I'm ever going to use. So what I do is get the, the blister sponge and I'm torn one side. So it's rough, roll it up into like a sausage. In a piece of kitchen roll. Or blue roll or whatever roll you fancy using. Leave that to dry and we'll be back in a minute. That's all dry. Yeah, I'll be painting the dry rust to see if I can get only a small amount out this time. Yeah, there we go. Basically all I need. It's given you well because I used the sponge, it's kind of a bit like hammered metal, which is what I wanted. Break that bit of sponge off because it's still a bit wet. A bit gaudy at the moment, the washers will knock it back a bit. You can see as it's dried, it's dulled down quite a lot. Got this armor wash from Secret Weapon. Coats of a couple of different washes. Get a bigger brush. There we go. And get the sponge. I want it to be really, really rough. And the Carisberg Crimson from Games Workshop. Leave that to dry now and I come back in the last wash. There we go so far. The last wash is like a flesh wash.
that to dry. All right, so we'll dry. You can see, it's quite a difference. So I'll just paint at the bottom of the sea. A little bit up there, but that's okay. And um, what I've got here is two hammer dry brush paints, rust and gun metal. What I'm going to go over the rust a little bit. You don't need a vast amount of this stuff. And a dry brush. Very liberal with it, as you can see. I've knocked that dark orange down to a slightly lighter orange now. Just fine with that. Got the gun metal. Darken that down slightly. What I'm going to do as well is so I'm going to grab a light rust and a light metal. Just going to push that a little bit more. I think. I've left the gun metal on this brush as well. I don't want it too. the rim I'm going round got the light silver It's easier to step on flat surfaces with the dry brush if you want to add some colour to it. Colour, not colour. Well, yeah, colour, colour's the right word. That's how we're looking. It's got a bit of a sheen to it at the moment. I'm going to give that a clear, a clear coat with a matte clear sealant in a minute. That should be pretty good. I want to do a little bit more orange. Have a little bit more orange.
to call that. Put it down right, I'll get a clear cut on it and also paint the back black and uh, then we'll see what we look like at the end. And there we go. Not too bad, that's one I made the other day as well. It's like more rusty looking than that one, more bronze. But they come out really, really nice. Just realised there's a rivet missing on this one as well. Obviously that didn't print. So I have to check my printers and make sure that's not floating in there somewhere. In fact, is it one rivet or two rivets? Ooh. Two rivets missing. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. Nice. Nice little bits of kit. No, it doesn't even take that long. Brian time's the longest part of that. Okay then, folks. Uh, I'll see you next time.